Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with more Let's Play Shining Force 2. We are part 44. We just uh, finished the battle at Moun, so we leave and we head west. And heading west, you're going to see a bird in the sand. It's one of those, uh, I don't remember the name of it. It's a, uh, they reference it in the newest Indiana Jones movie, the, the, the giant pictures that are drawn in the sand that you can only see from the sky. And the people who drew them had no idea what, it's like, how do they know what they're going to look like because they can't see them. So they had to use very complex uh, mathematical equations for it. So it's, you know, it's some big shit, honestly. Um, one of the many mysteries of uh, the ancient world. Uh, and this is the Nazca ship, which is nothing like any of that, other than it looks like one of those pictures in the ground. But this is actually really a ship buried. Um, so, as you can see, Gasp and Camila are at odds again, and this time, uh, Camila is going to fight us herself. Uh, because uh, her and Gasp are just so at odds now that she's she's taken to where she has to deal with us herself. So, this is the battlefield. Camila herself, along with a necromancer and a shaman, and then waves and waves of bad guys. New bad guys include Dragon Newts. They are a pain in the ass. They have a heat axe which can, and they will use it to use Blaze Level 2. Um, it is a pain in the ass. Uh, Camila herself has an iron ball which can and will be used to cast Blaze 3. So be careful about that. She has a movement of 6, attack of 96. She is the last uh, boss that we will fight that has an attack lower than 100. Everyone else gets higher than that. Uh, everyone else we've already dealt with at least once before. So the Dragon Newts are the new big problem. The next big problem with this one is Terrain Effect. Uh, as you can see, it's a rocky battlefield. If you step on the lightly rocky areas, it's instantly 30%. And then everything else is 15 until you get to the heavy rock areas, which is 30%. And it also really impede your movement. So, gotta be careful about that. Other than that, there's really not too much to this fight other than just be careful. Camila herself is a threat. So you don't want to just rush headfirst into her because then you'll get swarmed by her, the Shaman, and the Necromancer. And poor Kazen just can't get a break, because he's... They're just so badly lined up down there. You'd think they'd put one of the flyers in that far corner so that they could still move, but... Not gonna happen. Yoink. Alright, um, yeah, like I was saying, Camila is a threat. She can hit hard, and she has AoEs. So you want to be real careful. And then plus, just because there are no choke points on this map, and all the bad guys are effectively in a, a, a half circle surrounding her, they can rush you real fast depending on uh, your range of movement. Those first three act as a scouting force, so you know once you've attracted their attention, you're close enough to where the others can move forward and will start moving forward, so be careful about that. Use them as kind of a, a gauge. Alright. We finally get Kazen out of the little hole area. And that, that scouting party that is ahead of them really is a massive pain in the ass because they have one of everything. All right, we'll get those nine. Uh, yeah, that, that scouting party, it has a bow master so they can take out your ranged unit, or your aerial units. It has a Pegasus Knight, so that's a melee unit that can take out, do heavy damage to any of your uh, ranged or magic-based users. And then the Dragon Newt, I think, is the third one who just hits like a brick shithouse anyway, and therefore even your... Um, your front oh no, it's a Cerebrus. Okay, then that's not too bad. Except his flame breath attack ignores defense. 
So no matter what, if that goes off, it's going to do 18 to 20 points of damage to your, uh, to anyone, basically. The Fire Breath attack ignores any defensive stat, so even boost is not useful against it. Alright, so now they're close enough to start coming in. We're, we want to give the, uh, the ranged unit something to attack other than my flyers. And for shits and giggles, let's see uh, Bolt Level 2, shall we? And put a nice little world of hurt on these guys while we're at it. Slade can jump forward, do a little bit of damage. The rest of these guys, not, not that much of a threat. Um, I'm more worried about him, so we're going to Blast Level 4 him. And Blast Level 4 is dangerous. Alright, Peter will kill him and level to 15 more than likely. Yep. And this is also about the point in time where people are going to start getting large separations of levels. Like, there's going to be two to three levels in between a couple of your characters at certain parts after this because all these fights from this point on are going to have a weird theme to them and you're going to want to be careful about your positioning your spacing and your attack patterns for them because you're you can lose people really really quickly i'm going to point out when we get to one certain fight what's going to happen should you do something stupid because i was using that video as my test good job elric you wanted to make sure he was dead. Um, and in that test video, <laughs> um, no matter what I did, if I moved Sarah any more than two spaces, she would die. <laughs> so, fun times. Always losing one of my Master Monks. Alright, so we've attracted the Dragon Newt's attention, which means those guys are close enough to start coming in. The Bowmaster, however, still still being a, a little scared to come forward. I should wait and leave that... I should wait and leave that for Jaro, but again, it's fine to have a difference in levels from this point on. It's fine. And, and Jaro's a flyer, so he's going to be able to hit a lot of things. I'm not too worried about it. As long as they don't fall too far behind. And I'm going to equip the Chrome Lance so that if he gets a counterattack in, it does more damage than with the Javelin. Again, don't want to move too far forward. And boost is starting to expire, so got to be careful. And you see the Dragon Newt. He's basically just a pink, reskinned lizard man. But he's a lot more dangerous. <laughs> and Slade's level 15. Everyone's just going to hit level 15. And that's actually one thing you don't want to do, is you don't want to put a nice big clump of these people, because again, Blaze level 2. But I'm hoping I can kill him before he can get another turn. Or before another Dragon Newt can come down and take advantage of that. The, the first time I did this battle, uh, when I was recording it for the, the videos that I lost, um, I was very unsure of how often the AI would actually use items like that. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think they would. And then all the Dragon Newts just kind of swarmed me and started using them. And I was, this was kind of an oh shit moment. Alright, that's going to suck for her movement, but I want to make sure Billy dies. Do not suffer a Dragon Newt to live. It's just not safe for anyone involved. And, yeah, I need to recast Boost. Yep. 
Yeah, definitely need to recast boost. Attack from a distance. So that he can't counterattack. Not really that Chester needs any more XP. Where in the hell are you going? Alright. Where's Jaro? I want him to kill the... The bad guy. I don't know where they're going. I... I... Won't kill him, so we'll do some damage. And now if I could get Jaro. Jaro? Jaro? Yes! Thank you! Level the 14, so I don't feel like you're drifting behind. Or you can stay 13 for a little while longer. That's that's fine, too. No, no, it's not fine. Level, damn you. You are already a strange creature to begin with, being a, a centaur. Half man, half horse. Now you're half man, half pegasus. Which is just even creepier. I mean, think about birds and bird shit falling on you. Think about horses. Um, we are gonna heal... Peter. Because he took a hit. And that'll give her some XP. Because XP is delicious. Delicious XP. And now is when things are gonna start hurting. Thankfully, I just healed him, or he would have been dead. Thank God we weren't on the bridge when Thurston shot his nuts off, or we might have been dead! And hit you in the face for hit attacking my phoenix. And then you hit him in the face for attacking the bowmaster. And an eye for an eye is just going to, to mess all of us up in the long run, isn't it, kids? Well, you know what Gandhi said, an eye for an eye leaves the world blind. Yeah, we're gonna deal with you. I don't trust you sitting over there by yourself. Uh, heal three. I need to boost, but Peter needs to live. I don't want to let my phoenix die. Even though that's kind of redundant, considering he'll just come back. I really should have sent him up to deal with the Bowmaster, but... Don't want ja or Jerhalt to deal with the, uh... The bad guy alone. So we'll send all three of them over there. Slade will get the kill. Or not. Whatever works. Revenge! Level, damn you. Thank you. And that's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. Thankfully, I bought healing items for everybody. This is gonna hurt a lot, too. 16. That's kind of a low end. Normally, it's much higher than that. No. I really wish I could get down and heal Slade. Alright. Um, heal Peter. That's fine. Almost up to full. That's, again, fine. It's fine. I'm gonna hit you with a bunch of rocks. And not kill you. Kind of sad. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a lot of hits in on Camila. And. Ah, damn it! Damn you, Bowie. And you're missing. What 
level is Elric? 14, yeah. We're gonna attack this guy. And have him be dealt with. That way Elric can kill the one that Bowie missed. And level up to 15. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, say no more. Or not. Apparently I, I needed to say more. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna move you over here and use an item to keep you from dying. You're not a very stealthy ninja, Slade. You, you seem to die, want to die quite often. Uh, well, thank you. I need to actually start killing these guys as opposed to... Jesus. He's gonna catch up to us real fast at this rate. Uh, who is level what? Sarah's 14, 14, 15, 15, 14. Karna's 37, so that makes her 17. Um, just because there's so many of them that need to die. There, I'm, I'm, I've got too many of them flanking me. I've got enough 14s, it's fine. You just gotta turn, you little bastard. Alright, who needs to be healed? You, for one. I probably should have heal 3 him. Because that's only 15 points. That's not... Yeah. Not quite enough. Hey, guess what? You're already injured. Meet my friend Apollo. No, damn it, you're supposed to die. And those Dragonutes are awfully close. Like, awfully close. I really need to have Bowie start killing more things. But Bowie's like, kind of high level, so I... I, I get kind of antsy using him. But I, I really should, because Bowie's going to be doing the majority of the legwork from here on out. So, we're going to have Bowie start dealing with the Mudman. Holy crap! It's about time Bowie got a, a critical. He's only using the critical sword. I should heal him. Yeah. Mainly because that dragon newt's awfully close. Yes, shoot the healing drop at Bowie. Every time that happens, I keep thinking that Elric is like green arrow or something and just has like a quiver full of random arrows. Like how awesome would it be if he had like a stun arrow or a a arrow that explodes into goo and binds you? That'd be awesome for a remake of this, wouldn't it? Alright, uh... Kill the Dragon Newt, because she needs to level. And because I don't want him to get a chance to use Blaze level 2. It's not going to do a lot of damage, it's just going to do enough to piss you off. Alright, she's going to retreat over there, and they're going to follow. And, yeah, I'm glad I healed him. Because I just don't trust that. Uh, yoink. Not that Chester needs the XP, but I really need to take the, the power ring off of him. He's just... He's a bit overpowered at the moment. And, again, not one of my smarter decisions, but... I, he's definitely going to get get it taken away from him when he, uh... When he gets his mithril weapon. Because his mithril weapon is just going to be ridiculously overpowered at that point. And more attacking, more attacking, more attacking.
All right, who needs to be healed? Start looking at people. I think Jaro. No, stay there. Damn cursor. Slade. Chester. It'll be Chester. Bowie should probably be healed too, since he's in between two bad guys, but I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, attack Jaro. Oh, come real close to killing Jaro. Kill the Dragon Newt. And Bowie's 16. See, like I said, I, I've got a problem with Bowie at the moment. And that problem is he's killing too damn much. Is that really a problem? Can that be a problem? I think it can be. Alright, um, I'll kill the Dragon Man, or the Mud Man here, and then that's it. Everything, and Peter's 16, so he's following Bowie real fast. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video here, because we've just got these last three, and then we've got a ton of story after this, so I don't want to try to put that all in one video. So yeah, I will see you all in our next installment. Till then, later everyone.